Welcome back everybody. Our 20 towns tour of the state takes a trip up north tonight. This week's weather giving us a great excuse right now to get out and about. And one of the towns we're highlighting today is another good one. Yes, today we are making a stop in Enfield. And if you're looking for a spot to buy the water to go hiking, Scantic River State Park in Enfield should definitely be on your list. Right, so we sent the expert here, Channel 3's <laughs> Connor Lewis. He is showing us why the park is so popular and attracts actually a lot of out-of-state visitors. Our trip to Enfield takes us to the Scantic River. The Scantic River State Park is 784 acres, lots of trails. The loop that we took is about one and a half miles called the Powder Mill Loop. We saw lots of birds on our trip today. If you come here, you'll probably see some small mammals as well. Lots of wildlife here, and you'll definitely see some rapids like the one behind me. During the Mexican-American War and Civil War, this part of town used to produce thousands of pounds of gunpowder. The powder mills are well-preserved ruins along the Scantic River. You're able to get up close and personal with these nearly 200 year old historical artifacts on your hike. It's remarkably well preserved. Um, so you get to explore, I mean, a, like 30 foot dam with the raceway and gates. If you look at a map of Scantic River State Park, it can be tough to pick a spot to hike. There are three different sections, two in Enfield, one in East Windsor, all of which make up Scantic River State Park. This is the west section in Enfield. We parked at South Dust House Road and Powder Hill Road, where you can see some of the old mills. There are even more ruins upstream. I would suggest the um, section off Bailey Road, which is the eastern part of the park, but south of the river. And that's definitely, it's got the most ruins. You've got, I don't know, a mile and a half, two miles of hiking trails. So that'd be your, probably your best bet. Anthony Usillo likes to bring his son to the river before he heads to work. We come here all the time. We like to hike here. It's beautiful. You can see the water from up on the hills and it's cool. While people do like to come here to go swimming, tubing and kayaking, it's not encouraged by the state, partly because of water quality concerns. You do it at your own risk. It's close, it's not so busy and the trails are clean. So nothing to really worry about. In addition to hiking, the park is a great place to fish. Trout and largemouth bass live in these waters. This was Anthony Jr.'s first day of fishing. He threw all the worms out immediately, so that was fun, but he got the concept. It was fun. Even if you don't catch anything, it's all about having good company. Reporting with 20 Towns in 20 Days, Connor Lewis, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.